of the great uses for this is roll alignments. This is a fantastic tool for doing roll alignments. Uh, we make it really quite simple. We want to level these rolls first. We use a standard level. Because these are all at different heights, we don't really want to have to move this laser up and down at each, at each roll or each level. So we just use a standard level and, and level the rolls first. Then we want to make these rolls parallel to each other in the horizontal plane. Our preferred method is to find a reference roll, pick a reference roll, normally a roll that is non-adjustable. We can adjust everything to that. In doing the two-point buck in, that you already know about, we're gonna buck this laser into two points on the roll, each end, maybe. That's what I prefer, each end of the roll. We're gonna keep the laser level. You already know how to level. You know how to buck it in. We're gonna make this, buck this plane in to each end of that roll. When we get that bucked in and the laser's level, then we have these targets mounted on floor monuments. These are what we call floor monuments. We mount the targets on these, and we place one of these targets down here, and we place another target down here a ways. And we make those targets read zero. So now these two targets are set up perpendicular to that roll. So these now become our, our reference. When we were setting up, the roll was our reference. We set up the targets to become our reference. So we can pick the laser and the floor stand up and move it down to another section. And we're gonna adjust then this laser plane to be uh, bucked into these two reference targets. The numbers don't have to be zero. We're gonna adjust it until both targets read the same number, same sign. It just creates an offset center line. And it also what it does, because the squareness is built into the laser, when we buck into these targets, now we create a plane here that's parallel to what it was at the beginning. Now we can check this roll to be parallel to that roll in the horizontal direction. First off, we're on a cross slide here. So this can move in and out and it can move side to side. I want to set this up so my side to side mode is pretty much parallel with the edge of the machine, and my in and out is parallel with the roll. So if I have to do make a small adjustment, I can make kind of a straight move without having to start all over. Now I'm gonna level this laser. I wanna start with it level, and I wanna keep it level. One of the features of the magnetic bases that come with these targets, they're a V-block. So we can put this on a round surface. Well. Normally this level is on the top. This level will unscrew from the top and put it on the side. The purpose of that, when I put this on the roll, I can level this using that level. That makes my target perpendicular to the roll on the center line of the roll, you might say. So we put the, the level on there. And then I'm gonna put the target in here and I'm gonna course align this thing by eye before I ever turn it on and try to get numbers. So I put it in here. And I'm gonna adjust the height of the target until the beam is somewhere as close to the center. Then I'm gonna take the target and I'm put it to the other end, just like I would be bucking in. And now I'm physically going to turn this by hand, and I can see that the beam is nowhere near the center, so I'm going to make an adjustment using the yaw adjust. I'm going to bring that up here, and I'm going to go just a little bit beyond it. I'll bring it back up here to the near point, and I'm going to adjust the height of the target again. Now I know I can hit the target on both ends. We're gonna be using a 1308 readout on this target. And then I'm gonna set this back up here so the laser beam is close to the center of the target. Now I'm gonna take a measurement. We're gonna work our formula like we did before. We're gonna have an L1 dimension, and we're gonna divide that by the L2 dimension. And we're gonna multiply that 
times our far reading, and we're gonna multiply that times a negative one, and that is gonna be our set point. We'll measure L1. Now we can see L1, again, it's from the pivot point to the center of the rod, and we're at 12 and a half inches. So L1 is 12.5. L2 is going to be 15 and a half. 12.5 divided by 15.5.8064. Now we're gonna turn this on, and I'm gonna make this readout read zero. I'm gonna take it to the other end keeping the base level. Now my far reading is plus 118 thousandths. So I'm gonna take my multiplier, multiply that times plus 118 thousandths, I get minus 95 thousandths. That becomes my set point. Now, I'm gonna use the azimuth adjustments until that readout reads minus 95 thousandths. So I'm gonna use the coarse adjustment first, then I'll go to the fine adjust, make that read minus 95 thousandths. And I wanna recheck my levels. Because I changed the level, the numbers are gonna change, so I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna zero. I'm gonna re-zero. Take this back to the far point. Now when we're off that far, it usually takes a couple of tries. So we're gonna, we're gonna work our formula again from within a couple thousands. With roll alignments, that's usually close enough. So I'm pretty much zero, zero on each end, and I'm level. So now this plane is parallel to this roll. This is our reference. Now we're gonna place the four monuments on the floor. When I place these on the floor, I want these both facing in the same direction. I don't want one so the, tar the top of the target is going that way, and the other one, the top of the target's going this way. They both have to be facing the same. So I'm gonna place this on the floor down here. Okay, so when I set this down, I'm gonna get it set here, and I wanna level this using the adjustment screws here. I'm gonna level this so the monument is level. And aim that back up at the turret. I'm gonna level this, this monument like I did the other one. I wanna keep this solid and I wanna aim this back up at that turret. Now I'm gonna turn on this turret. These two targets should turn on. This one didn't, so I've got to hold this, aim it back at the turret until it does come up. Then I'm going to take my readout, and I'm going to make, that's target, target two and target three. I'm going to make targets two and three zero. So now they're, these now are my reference targets. These two targets are perpendicular to this roll. So now I'm gonna pick this stand up and I'm gonna move it down to check the next roll. So I'm gonna move this down here. I don't wanna to be too close. Now I'm gonna take this beam and I need to hit close to the center of the target on both of these. So I can see I'm, I need to go in. This takes a little bit of a trick because we have to swing this around to, to hit the center of those targets. So like any other two-point bucket, on one we're going to translate side to side, which is where, where we're going to use this slide here. And we're going to swing the angle on this side. So we'll loosen the base. Bring that close to the center. 
So now I've got it hitting in the center of the target on both sides. Now I can level this laser. Again, level is critical. It has to be level. I'm gonna turn this beam on. Now I'm gonna take my readout and using the azimuth adjustment, I'm gonna adjust this until both numbers read the same number, same sign. So now I read plus 102, plus 102. Recheck my levels. Plus 100, plus 100. So now this beam is parallel or bucked into those two ref reference targets. This beam now is parallel to what, what it was, to what it was. Now I can check this roll to be parallel to that roll. We have to first set the target to the correct height. So I'm gonna put the magnetic base on this end and I'm gonna level it. And then I'm gonna put the target in here and notice I have not turned this beam on yet to the motor. I'm gonna adjust this, this target in and out until the beam is close to the center and tighten the thumb screw. Okay, now I'll turn that beam on. We'll zero it. And I'm going to take the target to the other end. Now we can see this end is 16 thousandths low because it's negative, it's too far that way. So we can move this roll this way 16 thousandths, 15 thousandths. These, this is a live reading. So I can take an Allen wrench and loosen up the pill block here bring this back, just move it to zero, and adjust it so we're zero, zero on each end, and then you'll move to the next roll. Basically, staging the laser is what we call that. That's how you do roll alignments for check and parallel.